security forces investigating the Brussels attacks are intensifying their manhunt for more possible attackers across Europe. A second person may have helped to carry out the attack at a subway station. One of the three suspected terrorists at the airport who handled a bomb is missing. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News the attacks were supposed to take place next week. The attackers moved the date up by six days following the rest of Salah Abdesalam. He is the prime suspect in the Paris attacks and could soon return to France. Abdel Salam will not fight extradition from Belgium. This morning, his lawyer said the suspected terrorist wants a chance to explain himself. We have a team of correspondents covering the aftermath of the attacks in Brussels, and we're going to begin with Charlie Daggett at the Brussels courthouse. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News that the original date of the Brussels attacks is supposed to be the 28th. That's Monday, but they were brought forward because of the arrest of one of the alleged Paris attackers, Salah Abdeslam, here on Friday. The sadness of a senseless tragedy that has overwhelmed this country is fast giving way to anger that it could have been avoided. Already, the investigation has begun revealing a catalog of mistakes and missed opportunities that may have cost lives. The alleged bomb maker, Najam Lashrawi, was on the top of the list of police suspects. Thought to be the man on the left in the security picture, he apparently managed to evade the manhunt and get to the airport with a suitcase packed full of explosives and blow himself up. Two other suicide bombers and brothers alike, Ibrahim and Khalid Bakrawi, U.S. sources confirmed to CBS News that both men looked into targeting a nuclear power facility. Manhunts are now underway for the last unidentified suspect at the airport, the man in the hat. The suspects of the twin attacks have been linked to the alleged Paris attacker Salah Abdeslam, who has been behind bars since his arrest last week. His lawyer, Sven Mari, spoke with us after the hearing. He was in custody uh, from Friday night. He was interviewed Saturday morning and he was uh, interviewed Saturday afternoon. And then he, was to, he went to Bruges, uh, where he stayed the Sunday, Monday, and then the day of the attacks. But there was uh, no police officer that came to see him before the attacks. There is a growing sense that Abdeslam's capture served as a trigger for the other members of the terror cell you have to, go outside. to strike the Brussels airport and a train station in the center of the capital in near simultaneous suicide attacks. In yet another development, Turkey is now saying that its security forces grabbed uh, Ibrahim al Bakrawi. This is one of the suicide bombers at the airport at the border with Syria last summer and warned Belgian authorities that he was, quote, a foreign terrorist fighter. Gail? All right, Charlie Daggett, thank you.